You always kind of come back to that genre. Is it the best of all worlds for you? Because it kind of takes all your talents and puts them in one film. In a way, yes. It's the most challenging thing you can do as a performer to sing, dance, act. I was producer on it as well. Yeah. But when this first came to me seven years ago, I had done five musicals on stage and never once done anything on film. Mm. So I hadn't done Les Mis yet. It was, it, I was really keen to try and do something. Yeah. I started as an actor. The musical thing was a really glorious surprise to me. But by the time we got to shoot this, I had done enough of them and I was like, come on. And I was really glad that the musical had come back. Uh, I mean, this was the first time in 23 years that a studio had greenlit a musical with original music. Generally, like Moulin Rouge or Mamma Mia, it's music that everyone knows. True. So this was a great joy. Yeah, it brings also its challenges as well. There's so much going on. There's, there's a great energy on those sets, but yeah. there's so much going on. It is yeah. kind of a positive circus, isn't it? A hundred percent. But there's always a point, I don't care how much you love it. Yeah. I mean, if you're in a nightclub, by the sixth hour, it gets tiring, right? <laughs> and yeah. it was, it, there were moments where, yes, we all hurt, and yes, it was tough, and hey, I'm a guy wearing boots. I wasn't wearing stilettos or anything, mm. you know, the poor girls, you know, so... It, there were moments where it was challenging, but there's that collective determination that you never want to look up at a screen. That's there forever. You never yeah. want to look up and go, yeah, I was a little tired that day. Mm. So everyone puts out everything all the time. It's a movie about also staying true to yourself, mm. especially when success comes to you. Uh, yeah. How much was that important for you as a theme to resonate? Because Hollywood is a little bit like that, you know, you become famous and you could, you know, lose track of who you are. It, it, it's a theme that relates to everybody. Mm. I think particularly teenagers, I have two yeah. teenagers right now, they're such, around that age, no one wants to stick out. You don't mm. want to be, you just want to fit in. Oh, please let me be normal. Please don't anyone pick on me or notice me. And I remember that feeling and it's part speaks to that. But this idea that what makes you different yeah. actually makes you special to own who you are, to spend your time, yeah, of course, working on the things you love to do. Don't take things for granted, but do the things you love. Don't care what other people think. And in terms of with success, sometimes success can bring a pressure yeah. that you are trying to live up to an image that people have of you rather than, and, and we change. So I'm 49 and I'm a different person than I was when I first became yeah. successful, but and you have to be able to move through it. And that sometimes takes courage. How much do you also try to, I mean, infuse that to your uh, to your co-stars? You know, you've got Zendaya and, and Zach and they look up to you and, and, and they live by your discipline on set. How important is it for you that uh, everything sets the tone? I really try to treat all the people I'm working with with great appreciation and understanding and, and being in there together. And I think what I've learned, to be honest, relatively recently is I used to think if you're the quarterback, if you're the team leader, you have to always be strong. And it's okay to say to your co-stars, wow, I'm struggling with this bit or I'm a little nervous. And it weirdly, it relaxes everybody because everyone feels it. Mm. If, if, if you don't struggle at some point, it's probably not a good enough part for you because a part should stretch you. It should push you to places. And I think actually strength is in sometimes in the vulnerability. And it's okay to say, ah, I'm, not, I'm not doing very well today, you know? You've had such a great career in a different array of films. So uh, seeing yourself in the future, what would uh, stretch the acting exercise for you? What would stimulate you? What types of films? I'm really, I just shot, shot a film with Jason Reitman called The mm -hmm. Front Runner. Uh, and I was playing a real life character who's still alive and I spent some time with. And that was, that was a challenge and nerve wracking. I think I'm genuinely looking for things I haven't done before. I'm looking for things that push me. And I'm definitely mm -hmm. looking to work with some of the great directors I've worked with and other great directors. I understand that about myself. I love to be pushed. I love to be directed.